Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. If you are running a e-commerce store and want to help your customers find exactly what they are looking for faster and easier, then this video is for you. Because in today's video, I'll be showing you how to install and use Dynamic Ajax product filter plugin, which lets you add powerful and user-friendly filtering options to your shop. Customers can easily filter products by prices, categories, rating, tags, or attributes like sizes and colors, all without reloading the page. It's fully customizable, works with any Wolfish theme, and gives your store an unlimited filtering options for a smooth and efficient shopping experience that helps you boost your sales. And this is the plugin named Dynamic Ajax Product Filters for WooCommerce. This plugin has both free and pro version. I'll cover both of them in this video, starting with the free version. Before that, let's have a look at the plugin and its demo. So first, you can see zero hazel, effortless filter creation and application in seconds. So I'll show you how you can quickly set up this plugin without any coding. So just download the plugin, install and activate it and apply filters, okay? This is SEO friendly. And choose how to configure the filters by query filter, formulings and Ajax. And different filter for different pages. And it's not just a filter, you can see wide range of layouts, ranges with sliders like these, checkboxes and you can hide and show any of these filters what makes it unique is we have advanced filtering which is ready to use for mobile devices filter products by anything like attributes categories tags and other unique criteria powerful backend and lightweight and fast it has price ranges as a slider and you can hide and show different filters and you can have a standard clean code and this list goes on you can see real-time results ready for mobile use and so on let's have a look at the demo of this plugin then we will see how to install and use this plugin so this is a demo store from plugin C. you can see we can add this type of filter to our products these are different products with these filtering options first you can search for any product which will load with ajax without fade loading okay let's go back then we have star rating let's say two star rating this one has two star rating okay let's reset it then we have the different categories that you will also see here laptop and desktops i only need desktops sorry laptops this will show laptops only let's go back to desktops then different brands processes colors and tags this is just one example we can display colors here as well okay let's choose blue color so every item with blue color will appear okay without face load so this is the filter that we will be adding to our own store having our own attributes categories and colors now let's try out this plugin if you want to download it just go to the first link in the description it will take you to this page and as mentioned this plugin has both free and pro versions to start with the free version just click here to download it for free it will take you to the wolfies repository from here you can download this plugin you will get a zip file like this now you just need to upload this to your wolfies and this is the demo store i created for this plugin you can see we have different products here and let me show you these products in the dashboard so we have these products with different categories okay and brands we have some tags and also some attributes like color and sizes now it's up to you you may have different attributes you may have different categories and products but i have added brands categories tags and attributes just to show you all the filters and the plugin functionality okay so let's go to plugins and add new to install that plugin we'll click upload plugin choose file select the plugin install now and activate it once you activate the plugin you will see a new tab here product filters just go there scroll down and you can see manage ocommerce for the filter the first option is to manage the form where you can hide and show different filters like to show categories you can enable it showing attributes show tags price range and writing search i'll show you these glio if you want to enable and disable any of them you can just click here or you can enable and disable them from the widget area okay then we have url based filter so the url will be by query selector like filter 
or with formalink which is a flow feature or with ajax let's keep it as it is and we will try the flow version later on as well then update filter options and show loader which was the loading icon you can also customize it if you want to okay for now let's save changes and the next step is form style where we can style the form so we can choose different options here let's say categories and then for the category we can have different options like like checkboxes or a drop down so you can select any of them i'll go with checkboxes then for the checkboxes we have different styles some are free and some are pro so let's keep this one and then we have some optional settings like you can enable hierarchy and you can also enable minimization option and single selection and show hide filter and i'll show you these live on the website okay because you will not understand it here and same for other we have some options so let's cover them later on after seeing live okay so let's save our changes and then we have some seo and formal links where we can do some seo configuration and let's see them live as well for now let's display this filter on our shop and then we will try different options here okay so let's go to our shop page by the way this is our home page built with elementor we can display our filter here in elementor as well i'll show you that later on and for now let's go to our shop page and let's add a sidebar here and display that filter okay so let's go to customize to enable sidebar here okay let's go to commerce and product archive and let's scroll down and enable sidebar and let's go to sidebar we will enable left sidebar now we have a sidebar option okay now you can customize and add the filter here in the customize or you can go to widget area in the dashboard and both are the same okay so let's go to widgets this will show me you commerce sidebar got it and if i click this plus i can search for the filter which is dynamic ajax filter when i click here this will add a short code here and instantly you will see the product filter option having the search rating price range and category now to manage this and to hide and show any of them just click publish and go to the widget area in the dashboard so let's go to appearance widgets we have woocommerce sidebar and this is the filter we added and here you can do settings for it like the filter settings so you can display a single or selected filters then product selector and pagination selector and if you go to form manage here you can hide and show any of the product filter like the search text if i disable it and update it and let's view our product page you won't see the search bar because we have hidden that let's bring it back same goes for rating price range product categories and all these okay and then we have mobile responsive style so you can try out these styles and you can keep the one that you need and then we have some style options where you can see we are showing filter world on mobile the form background padding margin shadows border radius and all these these are basic css option and we have the same options for the widget title item styles button styles and all these okay so you can play around these values and you can make the filter as you want now one thing you may notice here is we don't have a color and size filter here and that is because we haven't applied those attributes to these products now to apply those let's go to our products and let's edit any of these products let's say this one so i'll scroll down and for the brand i'll choose samsung and if i go to attributes i'll add existing attribute of color and also the size and we'll save it then you can make it a variable product and you can apply different variations to it based on those attributes okay so let's update it now let's refresh and you will see the color and also the size attribute here okay and this is the minimize option by the way so you can minimize any of these attributes okay now let's change the layout of this color attribute and also for the size we'll go to form style and let's go to color option and you can see we can choose different style for the colors like a checkbox colors images and also select so obviously we will choose color here 
then we have further styles for the colors like with borders without borders circle and also this with values these two are in the flow version okay so let's choose this one and we have these colors and let's save it and let's refresh now you can see the color options so black gray red and all okay same goes for the size attribute you can customize it if you choose size here let's keep this one and save it now we have ready buttons instead of the check boxes okay this is the price range you can customize it as well let me quickly show you for the price we have this filter option so you can select this one this one or the fro one which will take effect here so in this way you can add a product filter to your WooCommerce store absolutely for free now let's see the pro version of this plugin so again there is a link in the description where you can get the pro version as well if you click here you will see the pricing this is the yearly pricing for one site five sites and unlimited websites if you need it for lifetime you can switch to lifetime and these are now the pricing so you can choose any of these based on your need i'll go with the first one and then fill up your info and click purchase i have that plugin already let me show you my account page here you can see i have the full version and this is its license key so let's copy the license key here we'll paste it here and activate license and license activated successfully there is an updated version available so let's update it we'll click update now that's it let's go back to photo filters and now every option here will be unlocked for example and the url based filter you can see with firmalix this is now available now before applying it let me show the difference let me resize the screen to show you the url and if i go to product filter and let's apply any of these filter and here you can notice the url structure this is filter one and then we have a color attribute and so on now to change this url and make it seo friendly you can apply the formalings option here now if i choose this save changes and let's reload it and now if i apply any of these filters you will notice a different url filters then by category and price okay so this is how you can change the url based on formalings and make it seo friendly we have some other options unlocked here and the form style let's say colors now we can apply the circle one or the color with values okay let's save it and refresh and there we go what else if i go to seo and formalings now these are some formalings prefix that you will see in the url here okay this is for the category for the tags price rating and color and so on okay so you can enable seo here and then you can have different options like the SEO title you can copy these short codes here and paste it here now if you don't need any of them just skip that same goes for this one and also this one now these play a very important load in the product SEO now let's clear the filters again now let's try any filter again so filter by category and then price and here you can see the CATA and the price tag that you are seeing here okay so you can change them if you want to then we have some advanced settings for the product selector, pagination selector and for the short codes now in the pro version you can also export these settings and you can import them on any other website and let me also show you how you can apply this filter on a page builder or to a specific page okay for that if i go to form manage we have a short code here so using this short code you can display the filter and for the button style you can use this one and this is for the selected filter so let's try this short code i'll just copy it now you can apply this short code to any page using any page builder if you are using gutenberg breaks elementor and so on as i'm using elementor here so if i go to pages and on the home page we have some products i'll edit it with elementor and to quickly demonstrate we have these products let me create another section for it and with this layout i'll move the products here 
now these are our products and here I can add that short code so if I go to all elements search for short code we'll drag it here let's face that short code and boom we got the filter over here and now if I publish this page and let's preview now this is our home page and we have the same filter over here and it should work fine as well you can see color red and remember we have only applied colors attributes to this one okay and large so we have the category of gadgets and smartphones for the price range we have this value color is red and size is large so a very user friendly url as well okay so this was how you can display the filter on any page builder or in the sidebar of your store so this was dynamic ajx product filter from plugin c a very feature rich plugin that you can use to display a powerful filter on your product or shop page again the plugin has both free and pro versions you can try out both the link will be in the description box and i hope you'll find this tutorial helpful to learn more about wordface elementary and woocommerce just follow my channel and still if there were any questions let me know in the comments thanks for watching and see you in the next